Hey, how's it going, Year 7s? Uh, we're going to be going through exercise 3D today. So going through exercise 3D, which is our prime numbers. So page 127 of our textbook. So what are prime numbers? Good question. What are prime numbers? Prime numbers, if we follow this definition over here that I've typed out, prime numbers are positive integers. So integers being whole numbers. So I'll just write a note over here. Oops, let's write a note over here so that we remember. Whole numbers awesome so whole numbers positive whole numbers or integers with only two distinct factors one and itself so if i pick a number like let's say 30 let's say let's say 30 so if a number like 30 what are the factors of 30 well we always start with one easy one and 30 what's next well two two goes into 30 right so all right two so 2 times what gives you 30? Well, 15, right? So I write 15 here as well. Is there anything else? Does 3 go into 30? Well, yes. So I write 3 here. 3 times what gives you 30? 10. Does 4 go into 30? No. 5? Yes. 5 goes into 30. And how many times does 5 go into 30? 6 times. So bam. My factors are 1, 2, 3, 4, sorry, 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15, and 30. Now, there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight factors of 30. Eight factors, right? So eight factors of 30, that makes it not a prime number because prime numbers only have two factors, one and itself. So for example, let's say the number 17. The only numbers that go into 17 are one and 17, one and itself. So that's what makes it a prime number. A prime number only has two distinct factors. Awesome. So let's move on to composite numbers. Composite numbers are basically any number that's not a prime number or zero one. So not a prime number, right? So they're positive integers with more than two factors. If we go back to our example of 30, 30 has eight factors, more factors than just one in itself. That means it's a composite number. So let's write that down. So that's composite and that's prime because it only has two factors. Awesome. Now, remember that zero and one are not prime or comp composite numbers. They do not count. So zero and one are not composite numbers. Let's do the first question down below. So state the first 10 prime numbers. Now, zero and one are not prime or composite, so we can't count those. The first number we go with, two. Two is a prime number because the only factors are one and two. So two is a prime number. Let's keep going. Three, is that a prime number? Yes. Is four a prime number? Well, no, because four is the uh, sorry the factors of four are one and four but also two two goes into four right so four is not a prime number five the only numbers are going to five are one and five six is not a prime number because we have one two three and six so six is not a prime number because it has four factors let's keep going seven eight is not a prime number 9 is not a prime number because 9 has factors of 1, 3, and 9. So that's three factors, right? So 9, 10, 10 is not a factor. 11, 11, uh, so 10 is not a prime number. 11 is a prime number. 12 is not. 13 is. There's a pattern that you should be noticing here. Besides 2, every other number is odd because if it's an even number, we could just divide by 2, right? So besides 2, every other number is prime number. That means prime numbers, except for 2, have to be odd, right? So to be odd, so we can even skip the even number. So 13, skip 14, 15. Is 15 a prime number? No, because we have 1, 3, 5, and 15. That's four factors. So not 15. 17 is 1. 19 is 1. Is 21? Not quite. 21 divided, uh, so 21 has factors of 1, 3, uh, 7, and 21. So not a fact, not a uh, prime number, 
we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, so we need two more prime numbers. 21, 22, 23 is one. And 25 is not one because 25 is five times five is 25, right? So that's got more than two factors. And we go to 27, which is also not, 27 is not a uh, not a, a prime number because we have 27, one, a factor of one, three, nine, and 27. So not 27, 29 is a prime number. So those are our first 10 prime numbers, which makes sense once you understand the idea of prime numbers versus composite numbers. So prime numbers, except for two, we notice that they're all odd numbers and prime numbers are numbers that only have factors of one and itself. Let's keep going. Next, we need to find three prime numbers between 30 and 40. So 30 is obviously not a prime number because it's even, right? So let's start with 31. Is 31 a prime number? Yes, the only factors are 1 and 31. What about 33? 33 has factors of 1 and 33, but it also has 3 and 11. So that means it's got four factors, so it's not a prime number. Let's go 35. 1, 35, but there's also 5 and 7. If you look back to our, um, our list over here of our top our first 10 prime numbers, you'll see that besides 5 itself, none of the other numbers end with a 5 or 0, right? So it can't end with a 5 or 0. So let's keep going. So not 35, 37, 37 is a good one. Whoops. 37. And then 38 is another one, 39. 39 is actually not a prime number either because we have 1 and then 39. But we also have 3 and 13, so not a prime number. The question I've, I've mistyped, it should be 2. That should be 2 there. Find two prime numbers because there's only 31 and 37. Great. Now let's go with composite numbers. Just a reminder, composite numbers are non-prime numbers. Oops. Non-prime numbers. All right, so take the first 10 composite numbers. That means we're stating the numbers that aren't prime numbers. So zero and one, we remember, are not prime or composite numbers. So we start at two. Two is a prime number, so we actually move on. So two, three, two and three also prime. Four has more than two factors. Five, six has more than two factors. I'm actually looking for the gaps up over here where we've actually skipped numbers, right? So six. 8 is also a composite number. I'm going through numbers that aren't prime numbers that have more than two factors. So 8, 9, 9 is a composite. 10 is a composite. 11 is not. 12 is a composite. 14 is also a composite. These are all numbers that if I was to break it down have more than two factors. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. We need three more. So 15 is one. 16 is also one, 18 is one. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. That's our first 10 composite numbers. So that's how we that's how we find the difference between prime numbers and composite numbers. Hopefully this video makes a bit more sense to prime versus composite numbers. Uh, feel free to pause the video anytime. Best of luck.